Welcome to our first doggone pop-up camper video. In this video, you'll see how the pop-up camper we just got, got installed. Today's Valentine's Day, and it's our first night in the camper. You could say it's our honeymoon night. That's why I got all dressed up. Anyway, enjoy the video. If you like it, I'll get a treat. Woof. We're the pop-up travelers sharing the road with you. The first step in getting our pop-up camper put onto our 2017 Toyota Tacoma Limited was to take the shell off. And this guy was working hard getting that done. We're really glad that he's not a plumber anymore. And it was nice to have all the tools at hand to pull that thing off quickly, including this travel lift. Since we don't have much storage in the camper, Ron Dunn, our good friend in Friday Harbor, and Howard took the back seat out of our Tacoma, put down a length of plywood, and then covered it with some bed rug material that we had after taking it out of our truck bed and we made a space for storage. And storage is super important because there are so many things that you have to have to camp with but how do we put it in our little spot there? Well we got bins. Well oh, there they are. While we were waiting for our four-wheel drive pop-up camper to be ready. We were staying at the Quality Inn for nine days, going through all the stuff we thought that we were going to need to take camping. It looks like a lot, but it was really minimalist. Hey, Django. Yeah, it was a mess, but we got all this stuff in the camper. Finally, the big day arrived and we were driving from Mount Vernon to Issaquah to pick up our four-wheel drive pop-up camper. And the traffic was horrible, the rain was coming down, and we figured out why the traffic was so bad. Some poor guy's car went up in flames and ouch. Thank you. 
Yeah, this just turns the power on in the camper. All right. So out is on, in is off. So that, okay, good. So that you can see what's going on over yep. there. I These guess. are all flipped on at this point. Okay. Which, those are your 110 stuff. None of that's even functional until you, really, you, until you plug it in. Yeah. Uh, here's your 12 volt sources. They're all labeled right here okay. on this sticker and what they do. A big shout out and thank you to Mitch at Mule Expedition Outfitters for the installation of our four-wheel drive pop-up camper. And uh, we took a couple of days to just get her all straightened out with the storage and all of that stuff. And then we headed down to LaConnor RV Park where we spent Valentine's night. Uh, and we went out to dinner with our good friend from the University of Washington, Dr. Billy Swalla. After that, we took off and headed down Woodby Island the next day uh, to catch the ferry to, from Coopville to Port Townsend. Arriving at the Coopville Ferry Terminal, it was ice cold and it was blowing like snot, but we always trust the Washington Ferry System to get us safely from here to there.
We're talking to each other. All right. <laughs> so we're on the ferry to Port, Port Townsend. Townsend from Coopville. Mm -hmm. um, last night was our first night in the uh, camper. Yeah, in it the, was in the Conchita. It was really cold, but we got through it really well. Yeah, we did. Uh, we Howard is a hot box of humanity, so I just the closer I get to him, the warmer I feel. Django was good, weren't you? Weren't you, Django? Say hi. Yes. Uh, so, what are we going to do? We're going to go... Well, so anyway, we're heading towards Port Townsend, and from there we go south until we hit 101, and then on 101 we're going to hit go west till we get to Beaver. Yeah. What? To Beaver? Isn't that what it's called? Yes. <laughs> you wanted to go there. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, there's a, uh, looks like a good camp spot for us to... Uh, settle into and an RV park. An RV park, and so we're gonna try it out and keep learning. Yeah, so we're gonna get uh, in the habit of popping the tent, uh, popping the camper, bringing it down. See, we think that we have brought maybe more than we need, but that's okay because we'd rather have it and not need it and give it to somebody or. Uh, you know, use it and figure out how to repack and all of that. So, yeah, yeah the whole thing is, is is learning how to set up and break down and knowing where to store stuff and where to find things, always from the same place. And that's an uphill battle that I'm sure we'll conquer. Yeah, we better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's it. That's it. Bye. End of story. Of course, we arrived safely on the mainland and started our journey through the Olympic Peninsula. It was incredibly rainy that day and gray, but the beauty of the land is spectacular and we hope you all get to see it. Now we're the pop-up travelers sharing the road with you. This has been a crappy video presentation. Y'all come back now. Here.